All right, y'all. This your boy, R.K. Pop. Back at it again. What's up? You know me, chillin', chillin'. Um, today is Wednesday, and I got a couple. Well, I got a Walmart pickup, and then I have um, another two pops that I end up getting in a box that I end up uh, doing a live with, and uh, you know my YouTubers can see it. And then I have the comic chess box, the comic book store to your door. He reached out to me and, and asked if he, you know, hey, you want a box, blah, blah, blah. I was like, eh, I'll try it, I guess, you know. <clears throat> but anyway, <clears throat> before we start this video, if any time you liked any of my videos, please give them a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. Uh, anyway, um, we're going to start with the pops. Um, this was pulled out of a, um, a, a hunt for Jason, I believe. But we end up getting Doug, which is a nice pop. With the remix boy. And then we end up getting, I already put this in a soft protector, but we end up getting um, Zerk. And I gotta put this other one in the soft protector too. And then when I went to Walmart, this popped out of nowhere. Like it always does. This is that Magneto, only at Walmart exclusive. And it's really nice. It's a really nice pop. The details in this Magneto is actually pretty sweet. If you can tell his helmet, see all the lightning bolts and cracks and stuff on his helmet? Sweet. Alright, so anyway, we're going to go into this box. I think I paid 50 bucks for this box. Shipped, I think. I don't remember. But anyway, it's supposed to have all kinds of uh, pop culture stuff in it. Comic books, stuff like that. We're going to crack it open and see what we got. Let's see if the value is in this box. So you're gonna go, I'm gonna crack her open and you're gonna see it first like you normally do. And then, you know, and then one by one we'll pull it out. All right, so we got like a, looks like a Halloween theme box it looks like. And it says the comic book chest. It's a sticker. Pretty good sticker. And some Skittles. Halloween candy. Got some nerds. And then we have that says Gula's Adams the Guide Hitchhikers to the Galaxy. Let's see what those are about. And then there's a note in here. And it says the content of this comic chest. Okay. All right. So this is a spoiler sheet. We'll look at that at the very end. And this is the top of it. And there you go. Get out of here. Everything is wrapped up pretty neat in wrapping paper. So we just we should just take them all out. That looks like a Funko Pop. This is collectible on it. Vintage. So this is vintage on there, and then there's a. This is the very last. We do these the very last. These are the comics, and that's what was on the inside. Get out of here! So anyway, we'll start with vintage, and look how he did that. It says vintage, and at the bottom, it says chilling, chilling. That's fire. That is fire. Matter of fact, we'll save that for last because they put chilling, chilling on it. We'll go with the first vintage right here. I'm going to slide them out. Feels like a feels like a figure, like a, like a wrestling figure. Ah, sh snap, it is. Check that out. We got a throwback 
Stone Cold Steve Austin figure. That is pretty badass. Nice rubbery. Even has the tattoo of a flower and this of it, not the flower, but this Texas state, the bull on it. And it's like a yeah, you can actually just move them up and down, and that's actually pretty cool. The shirt is like a Velcro shirt, like they made this themselves. Cause I never seen a shirt like that, but that is actually pretty cool. So all right, I give that figure about five bucks. I don't know how. Well, it could be more, but I just don't. I'll give it ten bucks. Just, just, just for his sake. This says. Hero something. Heroic? Heroic? Heroic. Whatever it is. I'm Puerto Rican. I can't speak. It just saved my book. Alright. Okay, so yeah. Heroic. So they're heroes. Little heroes. Oh, these look pretty damn cool, actually. Get open. Get out of here! Oh yeah, these are actually pretty cool. These actually go to a game because they have little numbers at the bottom and you can click it or something like that. Yep, it says KO, yep. Check that out, that's fire. And that's um, uh, Nightcrawler, I believe. And this was pretty cool too. I don't remember his name, but we used to call him Fireman. That is pretty cool. And then a little well looks like like a little supposed to be like a stand down here or something. Oh here's the dude right here. Alright. Glacier or whatever. The ice dude. Oh, that's pretty cool. Fell. Alright, let's put it together and hurry up. This is ridiculous. Alright, anyway. Looks like that. That's actually pretty cool. And then we have Cyclops. That is actually pretty cool. I give those five dollars a piece all day long. Get out of here. So this is 20, that's 30 in the value right now. So actually we're doing pretty good. Then we're gonna go to this other vintage one that says chillin' chillin'. Alright. Looks like another figure. I'm gonna say this is Glacier Iceman, the Iceman from Batman. I forgot the name of his name, his name, but I don't, I'm, I don't even look like him either. I don't know. Anybody seen this guy before? He looks awfully familiar, but I don't know. It looks pretty cool, though. Get out of here! And then there's this little, this little package here. Oh, it has some other Pokemon cards or something like that. System versus this is Electro Colossus Zero Ric Flair. I got this card. Lex Luger. I have this card as well. Sting. I have this card as well. These cards actually came out of a Zobie pack. When they had that little restaurant mystery bag, that was pretty cool. Get out of here! But yeah, let's go into this. I'm gonna leave this pop to for last, actually. And we're gonna go into the comic books. And we're gonna go from back to front. That's what I hope it is, back to front. They're upside down. 
for sausage. My man slot, slide it up with love this bundle right here. You, you need to go holla at them, bro. Holla at them. Get out of here. He does some fire. Here's that first comic. Legend of Superman. That is fire. And this is in like mint condition. So this is worth $3. Shadow Shot X Men Fire. This is a mid condition as well. That's worth four dollars. World's greatest comic, the Uncanny X Men. That is fire as well. And this is in mid condition. That is three dollars. Oh, this will be your favorite slotted up right here. That Batman and villains. This is in good condition. This is worth five dollars. We got a uh, Batman Allies, perfect condition. That is five dollars. We got some hits in here, dude. The Walking Dead. That's another hit. Perfect condition. Four dollars. The Walking Dead. Perfect condition. Four dollars. Fire. You get some fire in here. Here we go again. The Walking Dead. Perfect condition. Four dollars. Another fire hit. Again, The Walking Dead. Perfect, perfect condition. Four dollars. Fire. And we got Radioactive Man. Oh hell no! Nah. Now this is the creme. This is the creme. I am so into uh, the Simpsons comic books. It's pathetic. I don't have this one. This is fire right here. It is in great condition and it's five dollars as well. So the money in the box is with these comics. That's the money. Now all this little extra stuff, that's extra. So we're like at, this is 50, 60, 70, 80, we're at $90 right there, just in a little that little stuff. And then we still got this last one, the, the, the surprise of all surprises. You know what I'm here for, that old Funko. All right, we're gonna see right now. One, two, three, what we get? Get out of here, bam! What? Diesel, that's fire. That is so cold, that is out cold. The box is in great condition. It's a little bent right there, but that's not that's nothing. That's nothing. You can't barely see that. That's just like a little crease right here. Just along this line right here. From like storage or something. But the window is in fantastic shape. Yesterday I pulled some pops that are just miserable. They were just miserable. This is fire. I wanted a diesel. I haven't gotten the diesel. Um, I want to see how much that car it costs, though. Like how much it is. I, want, I, I might send this. I might send this in and get it signed by the wrestler himself. Okay, so Diesel is worth nine dollars, which that's actually awesome because it's extra extra bread. That's extra bread on top of the top of the stuff. Anyway, that is our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please hit that thumbs up. Um, anyway, um, inside the letter is, I'll, I'll show you guys. It says, this comic, one complete story arc, and a few random selected comics 
Curated to your interest. All comics are bagged and boarded, ready to add to the collection. Box collectibles. One random box collectible. These collectibles are near, never been opened. Vintage action figures previously played with loose action figures from past. All figures are without accessories and conditions are varied. Heracles tabletop game. You can play with your friends. Go to a local comic book store for more information on how to play. They also make amazing micro statues for your desk. Yeah, they do, and I like them a lot. Random, it says a pack of cards, a random assortment of cards are selected as a fun nostalgia bonus. Items have been disinfected and prior to shipping. All right. And thank you, um, what was the name of this box? The chest, the comic book chest, I believe it was called. Yeah, the comic chest. Y'all go hit them up if you guys like comic books, man. A little nostalgia here and there. Um, slot it up. I know you, you, you be right into this, bro. They got fire. They got fire. You just tell them what, what you like and they put them in a the box. Uh, hit me up, uh, slot it up if you want any of these comics, man. You know they're up for sale. You know, we'll, we'll do a big old mystery pack or something for them or something, you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, this your boy, R.K. Pop. And I'm out.